Hey everyone, it's me Sabrina Isabel and welcome back to my channel. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this video. Okay, so to, by the title of this video, you guys already know that this is a Colourpop review. So I got myself a couple of goodies this last month, December. But I didn't have time to film it. I'm so sorry, guys. So it's been some time since I actually bought some stuff from Colourpop. So I went on to their website and I saw they had a lot, a lot of new products. So I wanted to buy them and test out for you guys. So let's go! First, I got the Supernova shade. I got two of them. I got the shade in Dragon and Hard to Impress. And these are the shades right here. This is Hard to Impress and this is Dragon. I'm going to give you guys a swatch of these two right now. This is Dragon. And this is Hard to Impress. They are both beautiful matte metallic eyeshadow shades and they go on wet. Before I talk more about this product, I'm just going to show you guys um, how I actually applied this eyeshadow on today. So for my base, I'll be using the Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette and I'm picking up the first shade called Crayon with my Morphe M433 brush and applying that to my crease area and then I'll go in with the shade called He Devil with my Morphe M433 brush and just apply it slightly lower, um, blending it towards Crayon. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to use the Colourpop Supernova Eyeshadow in the shade Dragon. And one side of my lid, as you can see, I'm applying it with the wand. And I found it like it was really, really difficult to apply it with the wand. So I went in with any normal pencil brush and I just tried to blend it out slowly because it was going on really, really wet. And it was like moving all over the place. So I went on with the brush and it was way much more better applying the supernova eyeshadow with the brush. So for the other side of my eyes, I will be using the brush to apply the supernova eyeshadow shade to my eyelids and it was so much easier to apply them. So I do recommend you guys to apply this eyeshadow with a brush. And then I'll go in with the shade Ashes from the Urban Decay Heat Palette with my e.l.f. crease a brush and just blend out the edges so that you don't have that harsh line going across because this is a super metallic eyeshadow. As I'm blending, it actually removes the product like any normal shimmer eyeshadow would do. So what you need to do after that is once you blended out everything and then you just go back in and you just top up a little bit more of the Colourpop Dragon Supernova Eyeshadow on your eyelids and then you just slightly blend it out a little bit more and then you are good to go. So, so this Supernova Eyeshadow shades gives the same effect as any other shimmer eyeshadows. It's just that this one goes on wet and then it dries off really nicely. So one thing about this eyeshadow I would love to say is the pigmentation is on point and it's solid. And it doesn't like give that sticky feeling once you apply this on. It doesn't have like that sticky feeling when you keep blinking like normally like some eyeshadows would do that will ca cause the creasing. This doesn't have. I already had this um eyeshadow on my lids for like almost half an hour coming towards an hour and it doesn't have like that creasing line so that is good that's why i like this eyeshadow so much and i might be getting more of this guys so okay then i got myself two of the colourpop no filter concealer i got the shades in deep beach 45 and golden 40 okay so i'm just gonna give you guys at the swatch and show you guys the shades so, this is the shade Golden. It looks really light, but it's actually not for my skin. And this is the Deep Beige 45. So, as you can see, the two shades are really different, but they are really, really blendable. Once you blend it out, it will be so good, guys. So, as you can see, my entire foundation all is done. So, what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm actually using the Deep Beige 45 underneath my eyes and I will go ahead and blend that out. So once it's blended out, you can see how beautiful it actually is underneath the eyes. And then I'm just going to try out the other shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply it to my forehead, my nose, my upper lip and my chin and blend it out to show you guys that even though it is going on really light on my skin, it really blends out 
really beautifully on my face so it gives you that extra nice soft subtle highlight even though it looks like way lighter in the tube but when you apply it to your face it's it just i find that it really really matched everything up using these two concealers the way i did it i find that the it just makes the areas that i want pop much better because sometimes i don't want the under eye area to really scream at the screen but doing this type like having two different shades of concealer and just putting two shades around your face that's the trick way much more better that's how i feel guys Okay, so the other one I got is the Colourpop Luster Dust in the shade Dewdrop. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It comes in the packaging like this. It looks really dark inside, right guys? But trust me, it's not. It's not. And before I go into this, let me talk about another product, which is the Amber Crystal Collection Bundle. So what it has inside here, it has a setting spray, a liquid highlighter, and a lip Balm. Inside the packaging for the setting spray, it has a green tea for natural source of caffeine and antioxidants, white tea, which is believed to encourage healthy and youthful skin. It has mango flower. Uh, it improves the appearance of oily and acne prone skin. Peach, a fruit rich with vitamin C that may improve the appearance of the luminosity and glow, contains metamarine. A ingredient that reduce the appearance of oily skin um, do shake well before you there is so much of ingredients in this small cute bottle and this is made in glass guys and then the liquid highlighter is also contains real amber in it and this creates a flawless soft focus finish and then the lip balm inside also contains real amber mango butter as a source of vitamin A and C. So as you can see, I'm holding two highlighters up to my face. On my left side of my face, I'll be using the Colourpop Luster Dust in the shade Dewdrop. And the other side will be the Colourpop Amber Crystal Light Highlight. When I opened the Colourpop Luster Dust, you need to actually shake the packaging. So once you shake the packaging to remove the product, once you open it up, it is a little bit messy guys as I'm showing you right now. It's a little bit messy. That is one thing about a, a loose highlighter that it does that. But nevertheless, I'm using the Morphe 501 brush and applying the highlighter sheet right off the, color the cap itself. And just applying that to my left side of my face. I always like to apply my highlighter in a C shape. So when I turn, it really gives that the all-around angle guys so and then the other one is the Colourpop Amber liquid highlighter this you have to shake before you use and you can see it has a protective cap on top and it has the bottle itself has a lock and it's made out of glass so when you press really hard it doesn't press down because it's locked so you need to turn the tip to unlock it in order to squeeze it out which is really really good what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna Pump it at the back of my hand as you can see. The color is really vibrant. So I'm just going to mix it up and apply it with my finger. And when I did it, it was really, really patchy, guys. I didn't like the way how I applied it with my finger. So I went ahead and just picked up any normal tapered brush or fluffy brush. First, I started blending out on my face a little bit. And then I picked up a little bit more from my hand and I applied it all over to my face. And as you can see, it is really beautiful guys it's really beautiful this just gives you the wet look of highlighter i just like this so much so i started applying that all over my face guys and then as you can see just, it's just so good this highlighter is so good i've never really liked any liquid highlighter before guys and this is one that i truly adore and love right now and then i'll just go ahead and apply the lip balm and I'm applying this, of course, on top of my foundation lip. is to show you guys that this lip balm actually gives a little bit tint to the lips. But this is not supposed to be worn on top of foundation lip. It's just, you know, for you to just carry around when you're having cracked lips and you just want to moisturize. This is a really, really nice product because it has the beautiful smell of amber and mango. And it tastes like mango. Now, and my favorite fruit is mango, guys. So, I just went on top of that and I applied the Kat Von D in the shade Love Craft. And after what I feel is after applying the lip balm, this lip balm on top of a matte liquid lipstick, it doesn't dry down at all, guys. Not like how a normal 
lip balm would do. So I've been using the Sephora Coconut Lip Balm every time when I apply lipstick before I do my makeup. It does moisture the lips but it doesn't like change your liquid lipstick into a satin finish. It doesn't do that but this does, does it so if you want your lips to be met then you apply it before you apply your foundation and your makeup I think and then you gotta remove it and apply your makeup. And then the last product will be the Colourpop Amber Crystal Setting Spray and this has the most amazing smell and I love the way how that it doesn't dispense so much but just the right amount to actually set your entire makeup and you don't need to use a lot. I know the quantity inside this bottle is really little, it's only 0.86 ounce compared to my Too Faced one which is 4 ounce. So this is 4 ounce and this is 0.86 ounce. So, but this just a little bit, just one, two, three, and then you're good to go. You don't need to spray and soak your face until it's dripping wet to get your makeup set with this product. That's why I love it so much. So I really, really love Colourpop products. I don't know, recently I've not been buying. I've actually been focusing on Morphe products a lot lately. But I really, really love Colourpop products as well, guys. So I started off loving Colourpop my first year when I was in YouTube. So then I fell in love with Morphe. So Colourpop is still my true, true lover. So I truly hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give this video a huge thumbs up. Click the button down below and subscribe to my channel. Like my video. Follow me on Instagram. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video.